Every day, more than 2 billion people around the world log on to Facebook. Beyond the endless cat videos and status updates, each of those users has helped create a social network which can be modeled to identify communities and find out how information spreads online. With a lot of simplification, of course, you can abstract this representation into a graph, a mathematical object. And you've got people as nodes and their relationships, whether they are friends or not, as edges. The University of Sydney's Dr. Rachel Wang is an expert in statistical network models. She finds them everywhere and not just online. In ecology, you have the food web, which is another example of network. It's a predator-prey relationship. And in uh, molecular biology, you've got the gene networks. And so you, you have uh, these tra transcription factors and the target genes interacting with each other, forming the gene regulation mechanisms which govern how cells function. Highly sophisticated algorithms have been developed to assign the various components of a network into subgroups or clusters. In the case of Facebook, for example, you could place people into implicit social circles based on common interests or backgrounds. Finding these groups is likely to give us clues or information about, for example, how information spreads on a social network, you know, how infectious disease uh, spreads throughout a social network. But reliable outcomes rely on valid statistical inference and the quality of algorithms. And that's where the work of Dr. Wang comes in. My job, of course, is to study the theoretical behaviour of these algorithms, whether there is any theoretical guarantees for the performance of the algorithms under certain generative assumptions on the model. That's a vital mission, given the increasing use of so-called black box algorithms in which key decisions are left to machine learning without deep understanding of how those decisions are reached. Dr. Wang is currently working to strengthen conformal prediction tools, which offer a way to assess the certainty of the predictions made by machine learning models. Her statistical methods have also been critical in extracting new biological knowledge from genomics data and improving our understanding of the inner workings of cells. It's diverse work, but a career path she could have missed out on had she allowed a stereotype she encountered at a younger age to discourage her interest in mathematics. When I was growing up, I kept hearing the message from other people around me that boys are better than girls in science, math. Girls are better at uh, more artsy subjects. I just discovered I liked doing math, so I didn't care. Dr. Wang says she hopes being awarded the Morin Medal from the Australian Academy of Science will encourage other girls to pursue a career in STEM.